Ghanaian president Nana Kofuado had delivered an address to the nation on Sunday to explain the steps the government is taking to see its way out of the current financial turmoil. Ghana is in talks with the International Monetary Fund to reach a deal to help its zero curse through the difficulties brought on in part by a rising world oil prices because of the Ukraine conflict. Food and other items have spiked in price in Ghana's currency. The city has tumbled in value 55%. In this half-hour address broadcast on Sunday, the president announced a raft of measures to shore up the economy, including measures to support domestic production. For us in Ghana, our reality is that our economy is in great difficulty. The budget drawn for the 2022 fiscal year, that is this year, has been thrown out of gear disrupting our balance of payments and debt sustainability, and further exposing the structural weaknesses of our economy. We are in a crisis. I do not exaggerate when I say so. I cannot find an example in history when so many malevolent forces have come together at the same time. But. As we have shown in other circumstances, we should turn this crisis into an opportunity to resolve not just the short-term urgent problems, but the long-term structural problems that continue to bedevil our economy. We have gone to the fund to repair in the short term our public finances and restore our balance of payments, whilst we continue to work on the medium to long-term structural changes that are at the heart of our goal of constructing a resilient, robust Ghanaian economy and building a Ghana beyond aid. All right, joining me now to discuss this further is uh, Kweku Adobili, uh, Finance, Culture and Systems Analyst. Uh, good to see you. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, let's uh, drill down a little bit into uh, the President Dana Kofado's uh, speech, State of the Nation Address. Ghana is in an economic and financial, a bit of a financial crisis, currency as well. Is that admission going to drive away investors or will it keep them because it's all about what's called disclosure? Pardon me, can you repeat the question? Yeah, my question was, President Nana Kufuado was quite clear that Ghana faces economic and financial currency crisis. So will that disclosure uh, drive investors away or will they stay because it's a honest man who is honest with the figures and the reality on the ground? That's a very good question. One of the criticisms that the Ministry of Finance and this government has uh, has attracted over the last nine to 12 months or so uh, is that it is it is it has struggled to communicate fully and honestly and openly with investors and i suppose that the 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 effort by the president here to talk to two audiences one was the local community to help them understand that he understood the struggles that they were going through but also to send a message to the markets that he also is trying to speak to them about the measures that are being taken. Um, and of course, it's very difficult to speak to those two different uh, uh, audiences because they're very different beasts with uh, perhaps opposing interests. Um, but he has this difficult job of trying to meet the interests of those two parties, both the exter external markets and the local citizens. Well, I want to get your take on some of the measures outlined by Mr. President on the Sunday evening address to the people of Ghana. First, uh, is the IMF uh, program, will it restore macroeconomic stability? We've got a first team, you've got a second team. Now it looks like the third team is going to come from Washington to have this conversation with the government officials. What's the taking it so long? Well, I mean, there's, there's clearly some deep work that needs to be done to fully understand the debt sustainability situation of Ghana. It seems that uh, the government was speaking, the, the president was speaking with considerable confidence uh, during his speech, at the, towards the end of his speech, when he said that there will be no haircuts, uh, which was further clarified to mean that there would be no haircuts to the principal, both for local bonds and for euro bonds. Um, it remains to be seen whether that is, uh, is, is, is a sustainable position for Ghana. 
as the debt to GDP situation for Ghana is near 93% at the moment. So in order to get to his goal of 55% debt to GDP and 18% debt service to GDP, he would have to either, if he is refusing to do uh, 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 principal haircuts, he's going to have to either double his output or half his expenses, uh, his expenditures, both of which are very, very difficult things to do. So it'll be interesting to see how we square that circle, because ultimately uh, the IMF will demand uh, debt sustainability. And by, uh, by mapping out a path through 2008, uh, it remains to be seen whether the IMF will see that path that the government has mapped out uh, to achieve debt sustainability, debt sustainability Debt sustainability by 2028 uh, will will hold true or not, and whether the IMF will agree with that. Uh, the, these each each stage of this uh, negotiation, the public statements that are made by various actors are also statements being made, positions being put in the negotiations. So this is an offer in a way for the government to say to the IMF, we think that. Uh, we would like to not do full haircuts. We would like to do interest rate um, uh, 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 re reshaping so that we, we, we kick the can down the road, so to say, and pay, repay later in the cycle when our growth returns to a much more sustainable level. That's the argument that the president is trying to make. It remains to be seen whether the IMF will, will hold it to be true. Yeah, well, um, well, at least uh, we say thank you to Mr. President. He's he, he himself, the Vice President, and a few others that are taking about 30% haircuts. But let's talk about the city, by the way. Uh, the President said, if you talk down your money, it will go down. It's like inflation. If you look for it, you're going to find it. It's trouble. So, uh, has the city been talked down? Uh, how can we talk up the currency, the city? Well, you will remember that um, the city has been under pressure for more than a year now, since June last year. Um, but that uh, in about September this year, there was a leak that there was going to be haircuts applied to the debt. And that leak, uh, which we think came about as a result of conversations between various actors, including the Ministry of Finance and their investors, um, the, the leak... Uh, caused there to be a further sell-off in the city as many actors decided to divest their positions in uh, Ghana government debt uh, in order to secure themselves from any potential haircuts. It's one of the reasons why the, the government is um, taking this position that the way in which we speak about the currency is impacting sentiments locally. And that's the part that they have, you know, the government recognizes that they have control over local sentiment. And so that's why he came out with this statement, Sikam Pedidi, which means money doesn't like noise, um, to try and encourage Ghanaians to, um, to stop speaking so negatively of the city uh, in order to try and stop it from uh, going down any further. This was just one of a number of measures, including uh, efforts to crack down on black market activity uh, and off balance sheet FX trading, which, which is believed to be causing uh, 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 more downwards pressure on the city, as well as other measures, including uh, getting the Central Bank of Ghana to buy more gold in order to shore up the city, and also putting in legislation to force or uh, uh, incentivize uh, large multinational mining companies, etc., to deposit their foreign currency at the Bank of Ghana and with the local banks, rather than uh, uh, expatriating those 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 foreign currency holdings uh, offshore. Um, so it's a number of a number of uh, measures were put in place. Um, these 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 two, where he talked about talking down your money and Sikam uh were were really directed at. Um, the, the local sentiment uh, which has been talking down the city to try and encourage Ghanaians to back their own currency. Uh, interesting. Uh, hold on a second. Give me that again. Uh, Sikampedidi. Is that it? That's it. I got it. Is that a, a tree language? Or what? Sikampedidi is tree. Yeah. For uh, m money doesn't like noise. It we make a lot of noise here in Africa, market. by the way. We make a lot of noise here in Nigeria, and I admit. I think that's the problem with the Naira. We need, to, we need to start making noise. I, I got I, it. I, I got I, it. I, I, Everybody I, I, talk I, about the dollar and whatever. And when you make noise, money, currency gets weak. I, I, I think I like that. It's a competitive. Um, Thank you so yes, much. Have it, a great it, evening. It, it, and thanks for wrapping up the it, show tonight. It, it,